Hello all, El Presidente Tell here. Me and my friends in London today have been playing a game. It's called Let's Read Dr. David Starkey's Apology, or Clarification should we say, of his comments on Newsnight and see how much further he can dig himself into a hole. Now, for those of you not aware, um, I could link through to a video by Lee B19 you know, who does a much better job than me probably explaining the whole thing because I've only watched the clip maybe once or twice but he talks about the general theme of the whole argument as to David Starkey's comments on Newsnight regarding the fact that white people have become black now as a disclaimer I don't support racism in any way shape or form and would condemn anyone who tries to divide along those sort of lines but in a way I almost understand what I think he was trying to say if he'd have said something along the lines of I believe that there is a culture in the UK today amongst all youth that show that is generally materialistic very nihilistic they have no hopes no future um, they aim to get everything that they want out of life without knowing how they can obtain it so therefore they feel no connection to the ruling elite they feel no connection to their general sense of community because there isn't really a community and so they react in these ways that would have been fine it's because he used the words black culture like he's singling out that one element it's that one part of society now the other commentators did jump down his throat completely especially the guy who wrote the book on chavs now if that wasn't a guy who's just a middle classer cashing in on the working class I don't know what is you know in my opinion he can bleat on about the underprivileged people all he wants but he's making money off them now that's just as cynical as what David Stark is saying in my opinion but we're not attacking him we're they're attacking David Starkey now he's admitted since in an article in the Telegraph and I'll put a link to the BBC which has a link to the Telegraph piece that his biggest mistake was mentioning Enoch Powell which I would wholeheartedly agree with I mean the minute you start talking about culture integration uh, anything to do with migrants and you mention the words Enoch Powell or rivers of blood you it's like an immigration equivalent of Godwin's law you instantly lose all credibility you've lost all power to your argument the minute you mention Enoch Powell because Enoch Powell is the kind of person who's been hijacked by the lunatics the far right arm lifting BMP pea brain retards of society who desperately seem to think that there's going to be an impending race war in the country but this was nothing to do with race and no matter how much David Psyche talks about the Jafakan patois and the fact that it feels like a foreign country it's really a crap argument because this was nothing to do with race there were all creeds all colors out on the streets looting that's what it was about it was the the closest thing he came to the truth was when he said it was shopping with violence which is what it was people were just out stealing things and he but the problem is he's come out today and he's seeking to defend his remarks he says that he has effectively mentioned the unmentionable that effectively society today white people aren't allowed to discuss uh, race they aren't allowed to discuss immigration um, because of some sort of perceived political correctness and that the witch finders have their sights on him well they only have their sights on you David because you've been increasingly narrow minded about this you're singling out one part of culture you singled out rap music black culture this materialistic gangster rap shtick now I could do the same thing I could blame violent video games 
you know, I could say Call of Duty is the reason all these kids are so violent. You know, um, knife crime is due to Grand Theft Auto. Gun crime is due to Call of Duty. I mean, they did the same thing with Columbine. When those, when um, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold went out with Tech Nines and pipe bombs and fired 900 rounds into a high school, who was the first person they blamed? Marilyn Manson. First person, because it was believed that they were trying to emulate Marilyn Manson. In truth, they weren't even fans of Marilyn Manson, but it's that kind of perception. It's picking something to blame. There's something in there that needs to be blamed rather than just accepting that society is screwed and we need as a whole to advance things. We start pointing fingers at separate parts of society. We're going to divide ourselves even further than we've already been divided rather than seeking to put aside our differences, unite and try and build a better community together. So he carries on, he says, you know, you've got successful blacks at the top in a white elite, the bottom of the pile, the, the white chav class uh, who integrate with the black gangster culture. And I mean, it's really, are we still talking like this? It's the 21st century. I mean, are we still talking in terms of, of skin colour being important to your social mobility? I mean, mm, it shouldn't matter that David Lammy, Diane Abbott are successful black people. They're just successful people, surely. And then the topper is the last comment. Um, if all the people of this country, black and white alike, are to enter fully into our national story, as I hope they will, they must do so on reciprocity. In other words, I must be free to comment on all problems in the black community as blacks are to point the finger at whites, which they do frequently with justice and impunity. I mean, do you want a broom, David, for that sweeping generalisation? I mean, the man is a very respected historian he's probably one of the better historians on the monarchy that there's been in ages but really uh, I'm done with him at the minute he's really shown himself up to be quite the ignorant almost bigoted man that would willingly divide a nation along times of race when the best thing we need is to put these kind of differences aside and get back to trying to build a country this is our president I tell love Peace, liberty.